This is really two quality walks for the price of one. The second walk to the so-called Fairy Isles and to the end of the peninsula actually starts halfway around the Beaver Trail Walk. If you just want to do the Beaver Trail Walk around Loch Coil Bar, I would count on taking about two hours despite the fact it's only five and a half kilometres long as there is lots to explore. The full distance of both walks is about 13 kilometres and takes just over four hours. The Forest Commission describe it as a strenuous walk but the paths are well maintained and signposted so it's just a case of steady away and enjoy the experience. Whilst this visitor centre isn't staffed, if you want to talk to somebody about the beavers, the Heart of Argyle Wildlife Organisation have a staffed centre at the north end of the smaller lock. Anyway, enough blah blah blah, here's the walk. I decided to go clockwise round Lock Coil Bar, so I took a left at the car park. After about 200 metres of walking south on the road to Kilmore, there's a track on the right hand side which drops down to the lock. It's a case of just following the path through the woodland until you get to the viewing platform at Doob Lock. After about another two minutes, the track turns into a path which leads you down to the lock shore. The path detours to a viewing pontoon which gives excellent views of the lock. Any doubts about whether beavers were still in residence at the lock evaporated after a few more minutes walking. You shall not pass, they said. However, I was sufficiently determined to carry on south and a very pleasant walk down the lock side it was. Towards the bottom of the lock there's a submerged crannock if you want to see a crannog which is a little more obvious, then I would recommend the Tall Trees Walk on Loch Orr. The path rejoins the Forest Commission track, then look out for the path on the right which goes around the south of the lock. By the chewed tree there's a little track to a landing which gives you great views of the lock. Follow the path round and if you want to go to the end of the peninsula and look at the Fairy Isles then take a left. Straight on is back up the west side of the lock towards the car park. Ignore the first track on the left and bear right. And then at the T-junction turn left and follow your nose. From here you can get into your stride as the path is good and it keeps going until the end of the peninsula. The path drops down to an inlet from Loch Sween with the so-called Fairy Isles in view, of which there are six apparently. The Fairy Isles Nature Reserve also incorporates a narrow strip of the coastal woodland, bringing it to about 21 hectares all told. The path climbs and then drops down to the end of the peninsula with great views over Loch Sween. The track does continue to the next bay, which is well worth a visit. Time for a snack and a drink, and then back up to Coil Bar Loch. Retrace your steps to the Beaver Trail Walk, and then head north. Just after the old mill there's a short path up to a viewing area over the lock and if you look down to the left when you get there there's a mink hotel floating in the water. 
I have absolutely no idea what a Mink Hotel is. Back to the trail and on the left is a turn to Kilmore Oib with its well and the remains of 17 buildings. It was occupied from the late 1500s to the 1800s and was a farming and fishing community. The trail continues up to a second car park and you want to bear right here and follow the track down to the lock. The track meanders through woodland and then it's a short walk along the side of the field to exit at the stone cross just by the original car park. And that's it, a great walk with some amazing views, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs>